About four years ago, we got a call from a museum in Australia. 3D printing really wasn't on our radar, but they wanted us to produce a herd of dinosaurs, and they wanted to prove that it could be done all digitally. So the sculptures of the dinosaurs had all been done in the computer, and they wanted us to 3D print them in a material that could be direct cast. So it would basically be circumventing a whole lot of steps. So there would be no sculpting at full scale, there'd be no rubber mold, there'd be no wax copy. We would just take the 3D print and go straight through the shell casting process and have our finished piece. Of course, we had no idea what they were talking about or even where to start, but they had done the research and they basically said, we want to do this, how many dinosaurs will this much money get us? Go buy the machine and, and figure it out. So we got the first Gigabot and before we could even finish the dinosaur project, we realized that to print quick enough to keep up with the size of the parts that we were trying to print, we needed more. So we bought the second one almost immediately and then we eventually decided we need a third one because we're printing big pieces. When we use the technology, it's because it's for a monument. So by having three, I can be printing three simultaneously, run them 24 hours a day and it allows us the capacity to move a bigger piece through quicker. We ended up with 14 life-size dinosaurs. The largest one is nine feet tall and 13 feet long, and the rest of them get smaller from there. It's basically a velociraptor chasing a whole bunch of smaller dinosaurs. To get 14 dinosaurs produced and installed for, you know, let's say $120,000. To do that traditionally and have all of those pieces sculpted full scale, to have molded them full scale and gone through the traditional lost wax casting, we would have gone triple budget. We packed them all up in a container and shipped them over and they're installed in front of the museum in Australia now.